Praise the name of the Lord. My name is Emmanuel Okose. And I bring you greetings all the way from Abuja, Nigeria. I want to share something briefly um, that is destroying quite a number of relationships and marriages around the world. And I'm going to give you five common things that destroys relationship and marriages around the world. Number one is career mindset. A lot of people are so concentrated on their careers that they are forgotten their marriage. They are forgotten their children. Most especially when a woman has so much passion to grow in a career. A man has so much passion to grow in his career. It now starts affecting the home. They are never available for communication. They are never available for, you know, family time. There's Every time is work, 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 because you want to get to the apex. You want to get to the, you know, to the pinnacles of your career. So you concentrate more on your career than your children. So your children now, because they don't have somebody to talk to, they have a friend outside at the end of the day who mess their mind or peer group comes in. And that's why you see a lot of children today on drugs. You see a lot of children today on terrible friends and all that. And you see cultism and all kind of stuff because the parents were never available, both of them both the male and the female, they are concentrating more on job. Their, their careers is more on their brain than any other thing. Another common mistake, a lot of marriages or a lot of relationships, mostly marriages do, that brings a lot of breakup is distance. The woman is in California, the man is in Florida. And at the end of the day, I've always said this for transfer, for follow. If your partner is in another city and you're in another city, there is a tendency of cheating. There's a tendency of infidelity. It's like you have sold your man as a seed to another woman. You have sold your woman as a seed to another man. There is something about staying together. I've always said this for transfer, for follow. Don't tell me that, oh, I he's there because of family. He's there because of work. At the end of the day, you end up regretting it. 90% of marriages are broken up because of distance. I can tell you, your husband is in America. You're in Nigeria. He comes three times a year. That's not marriage. That's bondage. Number three common mistakes that a lot of women or a lot of men or people do in marriages that causes separation, that causes divorce, is lack of understanding. One thing you must understand is this, for you to have a perfect marriage, you must understand your partner. Understanding is what cancels misunderstanding. Know what he wants, know what she wants, know what he likes, know what she likes, know his dislike, know her dislike, then avoid it. As long as that is in place, every other thing will fall in place. Misunderstanding comes when people don't understand their partners. When people cannot understand, this is the thing that my partner hates. For example, if your partner hates you not brushing teeth, you know, in the morning, you know that your partner doesn't like it, you do it to avoid problems to avoid you know common sense is what is needed in marriage you know it takes a level of stupidity and foolishness for you to remain married over sensitive people and over wise people over over knowledgeable people can't keep marriage so one of another thing that bro breaks marriages is what lack of understanding Another thing, another point that breaks, that makes a lot of marriages to be divorced is family interference. You must understand that as you get married, your family should be outside your marriage. I did not say abandon your family, take care of them, handle them, but let your own family, you and your wife and your children, if there is an issue, settle it between yourself. Stop having family interference. You tell your mother what's happening, you tell your father what's happening, you tell your sisters what's happening. At the end of the day, that brings a damage to the marriage. Marriage. The Bible says, for this cause shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave to his wife. Cleave to his wife. So you must understand that as a man or as a woman, family interference is a, is a no, no. It's a red flag to the establishment or the longevity of your marriage. So when you keep bringing families into your marriage, you keep telling them what is happening, how your husband is misbehaving, how your wife is disrespecting you, 